The override periodicity setting in the EME analysis window allows you to set the periodicity the same way as done in the EME setup tab. To review, the periodic group definition table from the EME solver region's EME setup tab lets you set up the structure with one unit cell and then specify the number of times to repeat the unit cell. This is efficient since for a repeated device you only need to find the modes once for one period of the device and the same modes can be used for repeated unit cells. For more details you can review the solver region section of the course. Here we have a fiber Bragg grating which can act as a wavelength selective filter and the wavelength is set so that we're operating in the stop band where light is reflected from the device. This device is more effective at reflecting light as more periods are added, so we expect to see the transmission decrease as more periods are used. The simulation is in analysis mode, so the finding mode step has already been completed with one period of the device. I'll click the override periodicity checkbox to enable the tool and first try simulating 100 periods. The absolute value of S21 squared will give the fraction of power transmitted to the output mode of port 2, which is still about 100%. Next, I'll rerun the propagation with 500 periods. Now the transmission is about 91%. Finally, I'll try 1,000 periods. And as expected, the transmission is even lower, at about 79%. Recall that the index and profile monitor results do not reconstruct the results in the periodic region correctly, but the advantage is that the time that it takes to get the results using the periodicity settings is much faster than modifying the structure to include the actual number of periods of the device.